Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting tutorial in which we are going to learn how to add text to our videos and apply some effects as well. To do that we are going to use Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's dive in and begin. So here we are in Premiere Pro where we have, I have already imported the video sample that we are supposed to use. And next thing I'm going to do is to click and drag my video sample from my project panel into my timeline. So we have a preview of it showing up here in the programs monitor. So when I play it back, you have the video smoothly running. Next, I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to just click on the type tool here and click anywhere on the program monitor. Instantly, you should see essential graphics on your right. That's all these menus on your right, which help you in um, editing the text. And on your left, instantly as well, you see the effect controls, which further help you in adding some animations, changing opacity, and all sorts of things. We are going to type something in here, but before then, we can make changes to the type of text we want, the size, etc. I think the size here, over here, the size here is too huge. So I'm going to change the size to, to 100. Then instantly you see the cursor reducing. And then I'm going to type in program monitor. Now part of the text is out of the screen. So I'm going to bring it in here like this. like this done so um text when added to the program monitor by default is five seconds long so you can extend it by just specifying the time that you want it to extend it to let's say i want it extended for let's say eight seconds so i type in zero eight and then take off the five seconds zero eight I hit enter so the playhead moves to the eight second mark and all I need to do is just select the clip. This is the text clip. When I see the left red arrows, I just click and drag it to where the playhead ends. So now my text is supposed to last for eight seconds of the entire video. Now we can add some um, little effects to how the text appears. So to do that, I'm going to go to the zero second mark, bring my player to the zero second mark, and I'm going to move to the effect controls on my left. Look for opacity, that's opacity here. And then I change the opacity to zero. So instantly our text disappears and then a keyframe is created here. I move one second forward. So I can type in one here and I change the opacity to 100. Now I move to the six second mark. Supposed to last for, okay, we made it for eight seconds. I move to the eight second mark. I can use, I can just click and drag the playhead along instead of having to type it in and then look for opacity again. Select the, make sure the text clip is selected. Yes, we have this here and then add a keyframe by clicking on this diamond sign here. So we have another keyframe. Lastly, we click and drag it to the end of the clip and then change the opacity to zero. And when we play back, we have our text fading in for some five, six seconds. It fades out. We can add Further effects as we saw in the sample click on the program monitor clip again this time around we are going to add a blur effect in addition to the fade in and the fade out so we are going to look for effects where can we find effects effects is in the project panel this is the project panel on your lower left corner it's normally listed at the top here as one of the menus here but if you can't see it you have this small arrow here you can click on it and select effect 
So out of the effects, yeah, we have already typed in Blair here. Type in Blair. And then let's look for Gaussian Blair. Yeah, Gaussian Blair. Click it. It's just like a plugin and drag it and drop it on the text clip. Now with your playhead still on the zero mark, let's go through and look for the effect we just added. Here it is, Gaussian Blair. Now the blurriness at the moment is at zero. So we change the blurriness for now. Let's change it to 100. And then click on the stop watch by the side so that it creates a keyframe for us. Now we move one second into the video like this. And then we change the blurriness to zero. Now I move to seven seconds where our text is supposed to be fading out and still add a keyframe because we still want the blurriness to be zero. Now move to the end of the clip where the text is supposed to disappear and then increase the blurriness to 100. So when we play back, that's what we have. We have this smooth blur in effect. And then when it's going out, blur out. So this is one text effect you can add to your videos. Great. So another text effect that we can add to our video clip has to do with text that moves into the video scene. So once again, we take our type tool and where you want the text to appear. So, okay, so I drag my playhead here. This is where I want my text to appear. You type or you bring your cursor in there and then start typing. So I'm going to type in the word project panel. That's going to be one. And I'm going to add another text and call it this time source monitor. And for this one, I'm going to make changes in the essential graphics panel. So I'm going to change it to medium and what else can we change can change the size I'm going to reduce it like this okay let me make it appear from the 20th 20 second mark so I'm going to change this to zero zero and then drag my clip to the 20 second mark. Now I want it to end, so I'll drag it further here so I have the last seven seconds of my video showing the text. I just, I just don't want the text to appear abruptly like that. So I'm going to select the clip. So now I have two sets of text here. I have that of the source monitor and that of the project panel. You can see them in the essential graphics. And also when you come to your effect controls, you have effect controls for source monitor in bracket. You can see that in bracket here and then we have effect controls for project panel here as well. So first thing I'm going to do is we are going to deal with the project panel text. We want it to move in. So at the, um, say, 21 second mark, I want the text to be in this position, exactly in this position. So what do I do? I go to my, I select the clip, go to position, look for the text. Yeah, that's the text here. 
then look for the position of the text. Once again, you need to drop down and then scroll down and look for position. So the position of the text at this point is 51177. That's the X and the Y position. So I click on the stopwatch beside it and it creates a keyframe. Now, at the 20th second mark where the text is supposed to begin, select my text like here and scroll down again, look for it. And at this point, I want my X position of the text to be off the screen. So I click and drag to my left till it gets off the screen. So when I play it back, you see it moves in. It has that smooth movement, comes in like this. And when we go further down the line to say 25 seconds, I will, all I need to do is add a diamond so that it adds another keyframe, meaning that I still want the text to be there like this. So I have another diamond here, another keyframe. But at the end, getting to the end of the video, I want the text to move out of the screen. So what do I do? This time around, I want it to move to the right. So I do this. Click and drag, still with the X axis, out of the screen. So when we play this back, we have a text coming in remaining there for a while and then moving out of the screen but it seems it's too raw so i need to make some changes in the movement and then to do that we need to select the clip scroll down and look for the keyframes select the mid two diamonds right click go to temporal interpolation and then select continuous busier you have this easy in icons appearing now so what else can we do we can look at position drop it down and then we have these handlebars we can deal with first we can deal with this one just select it like this and bring it down and drag it to your left, do the same thing for this side, bring this handle down and drag it to your left. So we have this fast to smooth, fast to slow, and then slow to fast movement. Let's have a look at how it ends up. So playback. So it comes in smoothly and then moves out smoothly. So that is how I wanted it to be. And we can do the same thing for the source monitor text. So all we need to do is once again, select the clip, scroll down and look for, yeah, we have source monitor here in the effect controls, drop it down and let's look for the position. Yeah, so that's the position. Once again, we, I bring my clip to where I want source monitor to start appearing. I want it to start appearing on the 21st mark here, 21. So at this point, I want it to be at this position. So position done, keyframe created. Now at the zero or at this point, 20.04, select the clip again. Always make sure the clip is selected so that you don't end up editing something else back to the position where our keyframe is this time i want to deal with the y axis so i'm going to go down click and drag to my right not too much just out of the screen then i'm going to move forward a little bit Add another keyframe because I want source monitor still to be there and almost at the end of it this time around I want it to move in an x-axis so it's going to move in the opposite 
direction of where the other text came from this way so the same way we did for the other one we select the mid to right click tempera continuous busier and we drop down the position so that we have our we have our speed graph and then we are done so we can play this back and see how it goes simple so from the first one in which we did the blur and opacity effect and then we had a second version of text in which we had um, the movement right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments and leave them in the comment section and make sure you subscribe so that we can keep on uploading such videos so until we meet in the next tutorial enjoy the rest of the day